Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Andrea. It's been a while again. I know I've been terrible to an hell of a week. You'll find out why in the weekly vlog on Monday. Anyway, uh, it's the time of the month where I do my haul. Um, so all my plans for not actually buying very much have gone kind of out the window and I bought quite a lot. But obviously we are now into December and Christmas is coming. I've got most of my presents, just a few more to get. So I'm just going to take you through the supplies and then we will have a look at your at the books I've got, some of which um, were from obviously Ava Brown's uh, launch club. So the first thing I've got in the supplies, which we'll do first, are some pens. I've got some, these are Stationery Island and I wanted some pastel brush pens that weren't the, the Ohuhu ones. For some reason, I can't remember why. So I bought these and they're all right, they're nothing special. But they do the job. That's it, really. Um, obviously, Lidl's had some art supplies in, so I bought two more of these brush pens, which I really like. They're good for pattern books, for mandalas and all that stuff. Uh, I really like using them. I got two of those, so I've now got three unused ones and one that is running out. So that's those. I do like those. Um, again, while I was in the littles and I picked those up, I knew those were in. Um, I saw they had some acrylic paints in. They're very small, but I will. I did pick up one of each type. So we've got, so that's my phone, the Colour Basic and Metallic, Colour Basic and Glitter, and Colour Basic and Neon. So they come in these packs. They have got brushes with them, but I've actually given the brushes to Jennifer because um, they're not brilliant ones and they come in these little tubs I have used a couple well I've used a bit of that brown one but I never finished the picture so they come out so then there's not a huge amount of paint in each thing so you get two of the metallics and then two lots of the normal ones and then you get a big black oops I just dropped that on the floor a big tub of black and a big tub of white not that big but it's a lot bigger than those it's actually 59 millilitres, so pop them back in. Uh, in the glitter one, they're all the basic colours, there's two, two lots of each. They do actually come in a better box, but I actually couldn't get one for the other, oh, so I've way around then. Um, and this is the glitter. Now I haven't looked to see what the glitter's like. I'm assuming it is actually sealed. I'm assuming you just to paste it over. Um, you do get a lot of blacks. You have one, two, three, four, five blacks in there. And then all these are different colours. Um, Jennifer's been using that, so one of the blacks is nearly empty because she just uses tons of paint every time. So that's those. And the neon, exactly the same. Two of the basic colours, two of the two lots of neon. One 59 mils of black, one 59 mils of white acrylic paint. So I've got plenty of white and black acrylic paint to be going on with. As much as I love painting, I don't do enough up here because our bathroom is downstairs. And uh, yeah, I don't get to do it. A quick look at this one, that's the right way out. And as you can see, here's this one. So you can see that's the, the neons. And there's the ordering ones at the bottom. So yeah, I will be using them mostly for backgrounds. I like to use paint for backgrounds. Um, let's find some way to store them because all my boxes are full rammed of uh, various bits. Oh, that's falling out. I'm going to stand that one up so it doesn't fall. They're everywhere. What else did I buy? Where did they go? Oh, I'm not doing very well. I got some more jelly rolls. I got the jelly roll moonlight. I don't know what they call them. They're just funny colours. Well, Royal Talons. Colours 412, 415, 417. So it's, it's these ones. I don't know what they look like. I haven't swatched them or anything. I don't tend to. Let's have a quick look. So it's this one. Yeah, that's a, sort of a metallic -y gold colour, which is always nice to have. And then this one. Oh, that's a nice one, like that. And then we got this one. Ooh, that's quite nice. Like that. Uh, I can't see if you can see that very well, but yeah, there, all right. So that's some more some jelly rolls. Let's put them up there. Right, what else did we get? So I've got loads this month. Just zoom out for this bit. I did buy my desk needs cleaning desperately. 
uh, the Ohuhu 120 set of water-based brush markers with the fine tips as well uh, because I don't want to keep using my alcohol markers in my colour by numbers book and I thought these would be perfect and they are. I've partly swatched them. I, what I tend to do is um, I pick a book and I colour it and I just fill in a swatch chart as I use a colour that's needed. So for instance, colouring in a Jade Summer colour by numbers, if I need um, a dark blue, I'll take dark blue out, find the number, write it down on a swatch chart and all that stuff. But they're really nice. I've been using them quite a bit. so. Very, very nice. And of course the most anticipated thing in the colouring community uh, was the next set of Black Widows, which is the Dragons. So I got my set the other day. Oops. However, they're not in there because I've already taken them out and put them in pencil case. So we'll have a look. So I did buy, I don't keep the, the tins. They just go in the recycling, generally. I bought a big 200 slot uh, case, as you can see. They bring out any more I'm gonna have to buy <laughs> an even bigger one because there's not many slots left and they are in here Let's have a look. that's the wrong end I'm left-handed so it's just backwards so they do look very nice that's some of them there the reds are beautiful bloodshot and devil red evil red they are absolutely stunningly dark reds gorgeous they start there as you can see that's the end of the uh, Monarchs, which I use quite a lot. That's through there. So I love this big pencil case. Um, I haven't coloured with them yet, but I'm really looking forward to colouring with the Black Widows in that massively gorgeous case. So that's all the supplies, I think. Let me just check if there's anything else lurking in my bag. And we're just going to go and get the books and we'll have a look at those. Okay, on to the colouring books. I will start, as I always do, with the free PDFs I've been given by Ava Brown as part of the Ava Brown launch team. There's quite a few again this month. Uh, in uh, November, the first one was Gnome for the Holidays. There's one picture missing out of this PDF because I have coloured in it. I love these, they're so cute. In fact, it was the cover page. You've already seen this one in my Christmas haul. And then, let's just get this one. That's just that one, yep. Yeah. The second one is Christmas Scenes Colouring Book. Again, I have coloured a page from this one, so you'll be seeing that in my completed pages in the next day or so. Again, really cute little book. Nice and easy colouring, doesn't take too long. I can't, hi I can highly recommend these. In fact, I can't recommend the Ava Brown books enough. They're really nice. Sometimes I print out extra pages for Jennifer to, to colour. This next one I haven't coloured in, but I desperately want to. I've just got to find the end of it because uh, I believe that's it there. So is my phone going off again? Anyone think that's popular? I'm not. And this is Ava Brown's Christmas Doodles. This one is so cute. So it's all like doodly things. Like Santa, ball, ball, stars. There's your test page. I just print it all out because I get 300 pages a month with my HP uh, Instant Ink and I don't always use it all. If I don't use it all, it rolls over. So, I mean, I've nearly used up 300 this month. I've got till the 12th, but I've got 700 rollover pages I can use if I need to. So that's Christmas Doodles. Hope to get to that one this month. We got uh, Country Christmas. Yes, that's the next one. Just gotta find the end of it now. That's it, because the next one doesn't have a cover. Country Christmas, again, it's all country scenes. Very cute. Insides and outside Christmas markets. What's that one say? Just Merry Christmas. Very, very nice. I will colour in this one at some point. I just don't know when. I want to try and colour in um, some of the colouring books I've had for a long time in December. So the colouring books that I've had a long time that are Christmas related, like Escape, um, Christmas Past. The Good Wise and Warrior one, which I've had for so long, I've not coloured in it, I need to. So the next one, when I get to the end, is 100 Flowers. Trust Ava Brown to put out a 100 page colouring book in December that's not Christmas related. 
So there's no cover for this one. For some reason when they do the hundreds, we don't get a cover page. Um, but they are nice. They're lovely pictures. I can see me doing a lot of glitter gel pens in these actually. Oops, excuse me, that's half a bar of chocolate I didn't eat earlier. <laughs> so they are very nice little pictures. But a hundred. <laughs> I've got so many colouring pages and books that I could colour every day for the rest of my life and still hardly make a dent in it. Yet I keep buying. I'm determined to try and finish a couple of the pattern books next month, next year. That's my, my plan. Okay, we've got two more uh, Ava Brown PDFs. Yep, there was a good few. The next one is one I will definitely be colouring in this month. And that's Chibi Christmas. Because who doesn't love a bit of Chibi Christmas? Um... Here it is, absolutely stunningly, gorgeously cute Christmas chibi girls. Can't wait to get stuck in on that one. Yeah, I love it. I love, I love chibis, as you well know. In fact, I'm going to put that on the top so I can colour in it soon. Because I haven't put last month's into folders yet, and I'm not going to have enough space for them all. I'm going to need to buy some more folders. Happy Doodles colouring book. This is the last one that came out. Um, I haven't coloured in this one yet. I'm trying to colour in every single book as they come in, but then I get a bit carried away and it doesn't happen. I'm terrible, I know. But again, this is like the Christmas Doodles. Um, I mean, it's Happy Doodles. So it's just random little objects like there's little, like you've got the toadstools. And funny little critters on it. And look at that. I mean, I don't even know what that is. But <laughs> half an octopus sitting on a rainbow. But yeah, they're, they're quite cute. Very, very cute stuff. So that is all the Ava Brown that I've got through being a member of the Ava Brown launch team. I'm very grateful to be a member. I will be colouring in them soon. Getting pictures up on their site, the website, and reviews onto Amazon. I did buy one Ava Brown book from Amazon, which was Christmas Patterns. So this is one from last year. I've started a page in this. There's the duplicate pages, you get two of each again. Again, some of them are quite busy, but they're, they're really nice patterns. So I have started one in that one. So hopefully I will actually get to finish it. I'll put that with my Christmas book pile, which is getting rather big. I'll put it there. Um, the book I forgot to show off in my Christmas colouring uh, book collection because it was downstairs because I was going to colour it, I haven't, was this one I got from the Works Christmas colouring. It is double-sided, but the pages are so thick. They're really quite thick pages. They'd be alright like with the water brush markers that I bought, either the ones from Lidl's or, or the Oh Hoo Hoo ones. I mean, look at that. It's so snowy and nice. I like the, the, this Christmas tree is quite nice. So there's that one. It, was, it says four quid. I don't find somewhere to put them there. Oh no, I'll put them down here. Um, because I was in the works and they had in, they had um, Lulu Mayo's A Million Magical Landslide Creatures. So I picked that one up to add to the Lulu Mayo collection, even though I haven't got them all yet. But this one is so dead cute. Look at it. It's adorable. There we go. As you see, I'm, I'm trying to get through them quite quickly. I don't know how many books I've bought. I've got to count them yet. I don't count the PDFs. I've got to do that separately. And then uh, Relax With Art. Uh, this is the monthly one. Uh, this is mostly Christmas stuff, I would say. I'd say mostly. It's not all Christmas stuff in here. There is some, I think. Or is it next? With you make my heart smile. Oh, that's quite nice. So, yeah, I mean... Badger. Made with love. This is more of an autumn one. I think the Christmas one's out next month. The next one. Um, I like that. The dog by the fire is quite nice. But I did get uh, the Christmas scenes one, which is the relax that holiday special. And every, every quarter they do a seasonal one. So it's this one. So this is all Christmassy stuff. And usually, like I said, it's quite vintage looking stuff as well. Um, like the horse and cart, um, like very Victorian looking girls playing, making a snowman. They're posting their letters to Santa. The kids looking in the shop. 
and so on. But I do like them. I never get to colour in them. But I will. Uh, colour in Heaven subscription was Nico Girls or Nico Girls special. I haven't coloured in this one yet. Well, that's because I'm focusing mostly on Christmas. I may well colour in it, but I do want to try and, although I do mostly Christmas, I do want to try and hit some of the whips. I've still got a Halloween whip. I've got my colour in chat Elvis. I will be filming that fairly shortly. There we go. I did count all my colouring books. I can write down somewhere how many I've got and now I can't remember where I wrote it down. Which is just about right for me. There's a flip through of that on the channel. Then we've got the Current Heaven Collection Christmas Traditions. Um, these are by Fabiana Atanasio, who we all love. I like this one. Yeah, there's New Year. And then we've got Wear a Christmas Jumper. So it's just different things we do at Christmas. Read a Christmas bedtime story. Visit Santa. Wrap the gifts. Write to Santa. Post your cards. Have a movie marathon attend a mark, Christmas market, decorate the tree and so on. So I really like that's really cute. It's a really sweet one. So I might have to have a go in that one fairly soon. More Christmas. I think a lot of these are Christmas ones. Not all of them. We've got some uh, other ones coming up. Uh, Chibi Girls Christmas by April Amber. So this is a new one. Hey. I love April Amber and I love Chibi Girls and I love Christmas. So what's not to like about this one? Lots of cute girls with lots of Christmas scenes. Oh, that's a really nice one with a little kitten and a wreath in front of the fire. So, yeah. Chippy Girls Christmas. Excuse me, I need a drink. My phone you can see in the corner, don't worry about it. Let me just do that. Um, I finally picked up Magical Christmas by uh, Lizzie Mary Cullen. Um, yeah, I've seen this before and I know it's really busy, but I liked what I saw, so I thought, I'm gonna have to get it. Like for me, I would just do that in various, probably glitter gel pens. Um, but it's, it's mad, but I think it's really cool. I like it. Hopefully I'll get to it. I'll probably do one of the more simpler ones because I've got so many books to colour in. Then if you are um, on my Facebook, Instagram, potentially, I don't, think, I don't know if I put it on there actually, or even on TikTok, I have put this on TikTok, it's called I Draw Fashion, a fashion colouring book, Marilyn Monroe. So obviously as a Marilyn fan I picked this up for my Marilyn stroke colouring book collection. Whether or not I actually have a colour in it is another matter. But uh, And it's just a Marilyn look, so that's the gold lame dress. That's the How to Marry a Millionaire dress, the purple one. That's just a, a simple sheath dress that she would have worn. That's the white version of the Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend dress. I mean, yeah, the face doesn't particularly look like Marilyn, but um, that's one of the Jump for Blonde suits. She did wear a crop top and shorts like that for a photo session. Jack Benny dress. That's sort of like a Jump for Blonde dress, but it's showing a midriff she didn't in the film. So various little styles based on Marilyn, which is kind of cute. <laughs> hmm. So I had to add that to my collection, whichever one I put it in, a seven year itch dress, obviously. Although not necessarily because, although it is white and they've done it white as the seven year itch and it's blowing up, she did wear similar dresses in different colors. Very nice though. Um, I got two more Carla Magania books. I got a Belle Pipistrelle. This one I have coloured in though I haven't tabbed it for some reason. I'll have to tab that in a bit. So yeah, I coloured one in that. And I also got this month a uh, Desert Muse colouring book. Now, Spooky Sweets, unfortunately, is not available anymore. And I don't know whether it's going to come back or not. Um, or if I can get it off a website, keep me in check and keep forgetting. So I will keep an eye out for it. But I got Desert Muse because I wanted that one anyway. I, I just like that. All the succulents. I love using it. You know, been watching her channel. I love that one. That's the one I want to do, I think. So that's Desert Muse by Carla Magania. 
a bit curled up because I've been looking at it. Another Chibi Girls Christmas. This one is Coco Wayo. It's the only Coco Wayo book I've got so far. But I do like this one because some of the pages are black backgrounds. So you don't have to, for instance, do the, the night scenes. You just do the rest of it. Which I quite like because it saves you a job. Oh, I like that one with the baubles and everything. And <laughs> she's dressed up as a Christmas tree. Oh! That's that one. So I had to add that one to my collection. Uh, we've got one, two, three to go. And the next one is Easy Colouring, Easy Christmas Colouring Book by Jade Summer. This one is, I think this is Josh. Is this Josh? Yeah, Joshua Dunbar. So really nice simple Christmas um, pictures for you to colour. I've done one in here as you can see. You'll see that in my complete pages. On that one. And then I've got Cute Christmas which is Alexandra Frances. Again, <laughs> look at that. I hope you see it on that one. You'll see it again tomorrow probably. So yeah, so oh yeah, two in that one. Please, please go and support Jade Summer over at lulu.com. I know it's a pain. We have to pay for shipping from Lulu. And I do think that we take for granted the fact that we get free shipping from Amazon. Especially if you've got Prime, you get it very quickly. Um, if you haven't, if you spend a certain amount, you sometimes can pick a, pick a day and get it free shipped. But please go and support them over there, even if you buy digital copies. They're getting all their print books on there. If they haven't got them already, they will be very, very soon. They've got three books that are planned to come out soon. Fingers crossed, if we support them through Lulu, they will be able to continue making new content. If we don't support them through Lulu, they won't. And we will never get a new Jade Summer book. And they'll just sell their old ones via Lulu and, and not worry about it. Except for it would be heartbreaking for them, for the boys, Eric and Nick. They've put so much work into their company over the last four or five years. That it would be heartbreaking for them not to be able to put out any new content. So please, 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 if you're a Jade Summer fan, do consider supporting them on Lulu. I know I will be once we get past Christmas. Regardless of whether they've released their new books... There are still books I haven't got that I want and I will be ordering them from lulu.com after Christmas. But it might mean I don't order so much from Amazon because obviously we've got to pay for the shipping. But I'm not adverse to that. I'm quite happy to do that to support the company. And the last one I got was Mythographic Wanderlust. Um, who's this? This is Alessandra Fusi. So I've only got two of these books and the two I've got, I've got a single sided which I quite like. Now I'm not big on animals and they're all animals so I don't think I should have got one. Well, I like, quite like that one with the masks and that but uh, it's the artwork stunning. Um, I might do the snake. I haven't really looked through this one properly. I do need to have a good look through it because the, the artwork in these is beautiful. Oh, now that one I'll definitely do. That's gorgeous. I love that. Oh, that's quite nice too. The octopus. So that's it. Those are all... Sorry about that. I'm having a bit of a landslide night, aren't I? Those are all the colouring books and supplies I bought this month. With the colouring books, if there's not a flip through on my channel and you'd like to see one, please let me know down in the comments and I will put one up as soon as I can. I've still got a folder full of flip throughs I have filmed and haven't put up. I've just been lazy and doing other things. I've got so many hobbies it's hard to keep up and now I'm doing cameras and Marilyn on TikTok. Uh, it, that's taking up time as well. Although they don't really take long to film because I have no idea what I'm doing so I just like film and then put it up. I don't do any fancy editing yet. If you've enjoyed this video with me rambling on please give it a like and I will see you in the next video which will be tomorrow and it will be my completed pages from November. I will see you soon. Bye, everybody. Enjoy your colouring.